yourself? Uh, my name is Bob. I play mandolin and banjo in Flog and Molly. And um, something about myself. I like crab. Um, they have crab in Rochester. It comes from a ways. Your new album with Kiana Sunday was released back in July. What can you tell us about it? Um, it's more of a it's more of a DVD than a uh, than an album. Like we were approached by some people to kind of put together a documentary film about the band. And, just kind of put together a history about what the band is about, and they seem like nice guys, so we let them have at it, and uh, and I think it turned out all right. And then with that, um, we had recorded some acoustic versions of some of the songs, and uh, we had a film, of, or we had a version of Laura that we hadn't completed yet from the last album, and he ended up using quite a bit of Laura in the movie and so it made sense to kind of finish it up and get that out so it's mostly just some live cuts from the DVD and some acoustic tracks that he used in this music for the DVD and then that the song Laura. Um, did you do anything different when you were recording this stuff? The, all the songs, all the acoustic songs, we just kind of switched them around for a more kind of folk approach, you know, a more, more straight folk approach where we were initially contacted by Sony Connect to do something for them because they have like an iTunes-y kind of thing and we didn't want to just hash out a bunch of live versions of stuff that we already had recorded the same way so we decided to kind of go more acoustic with it and, and uh, strip it down a little bit. So we did that differently for it and we ended up using all those cuts on the album. How did the idea for the video for Laura come about? Uh, the video for Laura is just um, just footage from the film. Uh, some of it that made it into the film and some of it that didn't. But um, it's actually put together by a guy on our label, John. And he, we had the song come out and he just was kind of wanted to put something together for it and just ended up editing a bunch of film. From the, from the documentary and from some of the outtakes of the documentary film and just kind of splice it together from that. Um, Cheapest video we ever made. How did you become interested in playing the mandolin and banjo? Um, I guess I've always... Uh, I've, I've played strings since I was a little kid, since I was about seven, and, and I've just always been interested in kind of incorporating different sounds into the whole deal. <laughs> Covering in the string realms. They, uh, yeah, so it's just been one of those things where I just, uh, I like the way different instruments sound and I just keep collecting them and and that just kind of grew into playing, you know, banjo, having banjos and mandolins. So when I met Dave, it just made sense to make it happen. Uh, how would you describe the Irish influence in your music? Um, that uh, obviously comes from Dave mostly. You know, he's uh, Dublin born and his lyric and musical style tends to lend itself to the Irish side of things. So, uh, you know, Bridge has been playing traditional fiddle, like traditional Irish fiddle since she was two. Um, growing up in Detroit, her dad's family was Irish, and so she was always kind of exposed to that stuff. And, and, um, and I think everybody in the band has always appreciated that stuff and was drawn to Dave's music for that quality. So it just it uh, it just kind of grew organically out of all those things. Um, where do you get your inspiration for writing music? Uh, it, it comes from all over. You know, like every everybody in the band has this kind of pool of influences and stuff, and it just kind of. Um, blends all those things together. You know, Dave has influences that are, you know, Luke Kelly and the Dubliners, as well as Queen and the Sex Pistols and Johnny Cash and, you know, like I, I love The Who and The Stones and uh, Tom Waits and, and, you know, Nathan grew up on a lot of old Southern California, California punk rock. Um, Matt grew up on a lot of ska. They both love a lot of reggae, you know, so there's all this kind of stuff swirling around and all we kind of do is just funnel it into the right place in the, in the music.
Your music has a really unique sound. Are there any bands that try and copy it? I don't think there's any bands that try to copy it. I think there's uh, there's a lot of bands out there. I mean, not a lot, but there's bands out there who do similar things. Like there's the Dropkick Murphys, there's Blood and Whiskey. Like we all play Irish influenced music, but everybody comes out at, at it from such a different place, you know, different angle and a different direction that I don't think there's a lot of kind of copycatting going on in any way. Um, listening to your music, I can really tell you love writing and playing it. How do you explain the special chemistry between the band members? Um, I don't know. You know, like, I don't know, I don't know how it worked out the way it did, or I don't know what makes it work, but it, uh, from the very first time we were all in a room together playing music, it just it just made sense. Like everybody's, you know, they're drastically different personalities and drastically different backgrounds and all this stuff. But when everybody starts playing together and everyone gets in the room and when we play as a band live, like it just all makes sense. You know, it's just it, every, everybody clicks in the right spot, and it's it's a rare thing. You know, it doesn't happen all the time, and it doesn't happen with every group of people you play with. But it definitely happened here. So we're pretty fortunate to have that. I think. Um, what bands from traditional Irish and punk do you enjoy listening to? Um, I was a, I was a big, uh, I like The Damned, I like The Circle Jerks, I like The Kennedys, Dick Kennedys, um, I love The Clash. From the Irish traditional end, I, uh, I loved, uh, I mean I love The Dubliners and Lou Kelly, I loved uh, Van Morrison, and then when you know, I was a teen I loved Sinead O'Connor. Some of the uh, instrumental music that doesn't really, you know, like the Scottish stuff, the uh, Turlough Callahan and that, you know, I had listened to that when I was a kid and always liked that kind of stuff that doesn't really have a particular writer or that kind of, you know, that kind of angle. So a lot of, you know, um, Yeah, I don't know. Just I, I, I just oh, I listen to all kinds of music growing up, and still do, and so it's, it's hard to pinpoint any particular thing. Thank you. You're welcome.